guys, how are you going? I'm here with Hannah again today and we're going to give you some tips about training your big toe. Now your big toe is actually very very important in classical ballet and this is a trick for teachers to start assessing the girls feet in a little bit more detail. This is one of the things that's included in the perfect point system um, but I wanted to start giving you some information so even if you can't get the system that you can still start working with your girls a little bit more effectively. So the thing we're going to look at today is your FHL. Now this is your flexor hallucis longus, a big long muscle name I know, but it is the muscle that comes from your big toe and actually passes around the ankle. So it starts off underneath the big toe, comes up underneath here, around the inside of the ankle, and actually up onto the outside of the back of the shin. Now many, many dancers overuse this and start getting a little bit of irritation through the tendon. So sometimes we need to check to see if there is actually any inflammation present. So Hannah's just going to straighten her knee. All I do is place two fingers on the inside of her ankle bone. So her bone is here, my fingers are just on the inside, and then she just wiggles her big toe. Yeah. And Hannah's got good control through her feet, so she has no irritation there. However, some people will feel a flicking or a little bit of grinding around the back of the ankle. Now, this is not the end of the world, don't worry. It just is a sign that we need to start controlling the feet a little bit more appropriately. This will often get irritated if you hook the toe when you point. So if the knuckle starts hooking from here, or if you try to use this tendon to correct from rolling. So instead of that, we need to learn how to use the muscle that sits underneath the big toe, the flexor hallucis brevis, which sits just simply right under here. So Hannah's just going to bend the knee in to get this muscle going. We have the foot flat, nice and relaxed across the front of the ankle, lift the big toe up, and then she's going to press down against me. Good. And you can see that this muscle here is very nice and strong, and release, and again. We can do this exercise to find the muscle and to activate it, however if we're going to use it when dancing, she needs to be able to press the big toe down here and feel that muscle activate and you can see this creates a beautiful arch through the inside of her ankle there. This is a very very safe way to help prevent irritation around the back of the ankle. Some people do have quite significant problems with it and it is one of the most common uh, foot operations that gets done in especially training dancers and professional dancers. If this tendon gets too thickened where it passes behind the ankle, sometimes they have to go on surgically and clean off around the tendon. So we'd like to avoid that at all costs in all of our young dancers. So please do check your dancer's feet for any signs of the clicking behind the back of the ankle. Um, look at their control through their big toe and especially watch the tendons when they're trying to control from rolling. And if you'd like even more tricks like this to help with um, assessing your young dancers to help prevent any foot injuries in them, please sign on to attend our tally seminar. All of the details about that will be over to the side. There is absolutely no compulsion to buy the perfect point system or anything with that. It's just so that I can give you more tips to help work with your dancers a little bit more safely and help prevent some of the common injuries that dancers get.